yesterday, Senator Johnson and I discussed our joint investigation into the Biden family's foreign financial entanglements. We reviewed much of our earlier work and provided a brief preview of the new material. Today, we will give our second speech on our Biden investigation series. Once again, we're going to make public and we're going to describe new financial records relating to Hunter Biden and his connections to the communist Chinese government. Most of that focus will be on his connections to the CEFC, a company that's effectively an arm of the Chinese government. But first, we must go back to 2015. At that time, Hunter Biden served on the board of Burisma and was paid 10 tens of thousands of dollars each month. Its owner was a corrupt Russian aligned Ukrainian oligarch. But that's not all that Hunter Biden was up to. In that year, CEFC International announced an agreement with Northern International Capital Holding. Northern International is incorporated in China, and it's very much involved in the energy sector. One of Yi Jingming's companies was the majority shareholder of uh, CEFC International. Northern International purchased $123 million worth of CEFC's shares, binding the two, country, two companies <clears throat> together. We must also mention Hudson West III and its financial connection to CEFC. Hunter Biden was an investor and a manager of Hudson West III. He was tasked with advancing its interest. Hudson West III also involved Chinese nationals connected to the communist regime, such as Gong Wen Gong, whom I talked about yesterday. Now let's look at this first poster. And I should note that Senator Johnson and I will make these documents public in full. We're providing snapshots for our presentation here on the floor of the United States Senate. Here we have one portion of an LLC agreement from a bank. It shows the companies that have bound themselves together. Hudson West 5, Hudson West 3, and Owasco. Owasco is Hunter Biden's firm. Now let's turn to the second poster. The paragraph at the top shows the purpose for which the LC, LLC agreement exists. So what this tells us is that Hunter Biden and James Biden linked up with companies connected to the communist regime to assist them with finding projects for global and domestic infrastructure energy. And as we know from my and Senator Johnson's report from last August, some energy projects, explorations between the Biden family and China were here in the United States. One example is a multi-million dollar natural gas project in Louisiana. Now let's move to the next paragraph at the bottom of this same poster, which defines the word affiliate in the agreement. And I want to quote, for the avoidance of doubt, 
CFC China Energy Company Limited or any of its affiliates shall be de -deem, deemed as an affiliate of Hudson, end of quote. Accordingly, this agreement between Hunter Biden's firm and Hudson West 3 and Hudson West 5 directly connect to Hunter Biden to CEFC. So, was this agreement executed? Let's look at this third poster, which contains a signature block executing the agreement. Here we see Hunter Biden's signature with Gong Wan Dong. As previously noted, Gong Wan was an associate of Yi Jing Ming. Both men were connected to the communist regime, including its military elements. Notably, Hunter Biden worked for Yi Jing Ming to get him involved in a natural gas project in Louisiana. That project eventually fell through. Now let's bring up a fourth poster labeled Joinder Agreement relating to the LLC agreement. Again, Hunter Biden is signing with Gong Wen Dong with respect to the LLC agreement. Now, accordingly, we can now conclude the following. Hunter Biden was financially connected to CEFC, a company that was an arm of the communist Chinese regime for the purpose of advancing energy interests. This agreement also shows two additional findings. First, Hunter Biden's responsibility to advance Hudson West 3's interest as of August the 2nd, 2017. Second, Hunter Biden's close associate with Hudson West 3's CEFC and its affiliates as of August the 2nd, 2017. That date is important as I will show you soon. Let's turn to a fifth po poster. On this fifth, fifth poster, look at the top. This is a bank record showing an August 8, 2017 wire transfer from Northern International Capital to Hudson West 3 for $5 million. This is $5 million from a company that's connected to Ying Jing Ming and CEFC and its affiliates, which are essentially arms of the communist Chinese regime. And that transfer took place after Hunter Biden became closely associated with Hudson West 3, as the LLC agreement shows. So, what was the money for? As noted, Hunter Biden was working with Chinese nationals linked to the communist regime to help them explore energy projects. Now look at the bottom of this poster. This is a paragraph from the LLC agreement. It shows that Hunter Biden was paid $100,000 per month. James Biden was paid $65,000 per month. And Hunter Biden will be paid a one-time retainer, a fee of $500,000. Again, this is money connected to Hudson West 3, a company connected 
to CFC and Gong Win Dong. Both are connected in turn to the communist Chinese regime. We can now conclude with this with this respect to James Biden. James Biden was financially connected to CEFC, a company that was an arm of the communist Chinese regime for the purpose of advancing energy interest. After the LLC agreement was signed, money flowed to, from CFC and its shareholders into the bank account of Hudson West III, including the five million from Northern International. <clears throat> this LLC agreement was the trigger point for high dollar financial transactions involving Hunter and James Biden. Now let's turn to poster six and view the top. This is Hudson West three bank record that shows a wire transfer on February, August 31st, 2017 for $165,000. Notably, this is the same month as the five million dollar wire from Northern International. It is also the same month that Hunter Biden signed the August 2nd, 2017 LLC agreement. The wire is to Wells Fargo Clearing Services. Now look at the bottom of this poster. Senator Johnson and I have acquired more than just the bank state. We've acquired underlying wire data. So look at the fourth line at the bottom. It says, quote, further credit to Owasco PC, end quote. The underlying wire data, sh data shows that it went to Owasco, a Hunter Biden firm. Senator Johnson and I have years of bank records to show multiple $165,000 wire transfers from Hudson West III to Owasco. There were also wire transfers for other amounts, some for more, some for less. More likely, some of those payments were for expenses under the LLC agreement. So you have an August 6th 2017 LLC agreement with Hudson West Three and Owasco noting $165,000 a month to Hunter Biden. Uh, no, that's $100,000 a month to Hunter Biden and $65,000 to James Biden. Then, you have an August 8, 2017 wire transfer of $5 million from Northern International to Hudson West III. After that August 8th wire, you see years of wire transfers from Hudson West III to Hunter Biden's company. The majority of these for $165,000, the exact amount due under the LLC agreement. Based on the timing of the transactions, Hunter Biden and James Biden's payments under the LLC agreement came from that $5 million wire. A wire, mind you, that came from a company connected to Yi Jing Ming and CEFC, which is an arm of the Chinese government. These years of record show that Hunter Biden and James Biden 
were more connected to the communist regime's elements than had been previously known. These records place them at the center of Hudson West Three, Gong Wen Dong, and CFC. This is a finding that Senator Johnson and I made public in our Biden reports last Congress, the same reports that you found members of the other political party in this body and the liberal press finding fault with that somehow it was Russian disinformation. So I say this to the liberal media and our Democratic colleagues who tried to smear our work all these years and accuse us of peddling Russian disinformation. You've seen all of these documents that we presented. Are these official bank records Russian disinformation? To our Democratic colleagues and the liberal media, we deserve an answer because you made several efforts to smear our reputation as we were starting this investigation two or three years ago. Now, I'm going to turn it over to Senator Johnson to discuss a name that I gave you yesterday, Patrick Ho, and related records to Patrick Ho that we've acquired. Thank you.